Okay, so before this video starts, thank you guys so much for liking and subscribing on my videos. Um, Skull and Bones was actually really excellent. Um, I hope that review helped out a, quite a bit versus the Hunters. Um, thank you guys so much and hope you enjoy this video. Thanks. Bye bye. What's up, everybody? David Wildwalker here, and I'm here with a weapon review. This one's going to be a very special one that everybody's been definitely going after. I went after this myself as well for a long time. And I want you guys to see how crazy this blade actually is. I'm going to go in depth of how much damage it does compared to bosses to minions. So this might be a kind of a lo long review. Um... If I sound sleepy, I am recording this at 11.30 p.m. I just want to at least record it for you guys uh, for review before I go out of town again. So here is the blade. Lost Blade of the Leviathan, Legendary Curse Broadsword. It sells for 10,000 attack of 108. That is the highest attack in the game at the moment. Leviathan's Curse is its weapon skill unleash a powerful curse on your enemies dealing massive damage parry boost of five which is excellent brawl boost you really don't need brawl but it's a good defense endurance boost apply uh, five and requires level 30 sword to equip it now for Le leviathan it is required a level 30 sword to equip it but you can be level 20 25 to get this weapon for swords all right so that'll let you know of how this weapon stats and everything are i'm not going to compare this to polifico because polifico is a 52 and he does a lot of damage to people now so if you do not know where Polifico is at, he is in the Forsaken Shallows. Uh, gosh, I haven't used this in a long time. Forsaken Shallows, where Cursed Caverns, there's a cave that is on the right side when you go into Cursed Caverns. At Forsaken Shallows, you run all the way over here where Polifico is at. Uh, a lot of people do uh, lobbies with him as well. Let me see if I can yeah right here so somebody's doing it on uh marine marine rose uh, pff, these names are so weird but polifico if you guys are looking for a group which i highly recommend looking for a group for polifico definitely take advantage of it because he is a boss that is really really crazy um but anyways on with the little review so to a 39 mob it's not bad oh, okay that's a 52 that's the one that i actually want to work with and i'll show you how leviathan curse this is the highest mob in the game this is a 52 this is leviathan's curse 9,800 or 9,089. Okay, guys, so I am here at Jimmy Legs. I'm going to show you the damage of the Leviathan's Curse and his combos with Brawl. Uh, be warned, this boss does quite a bit of damage now. Uh, they have the boss damage quite up there now, so bear with this. So, we're going to see right here. Oh. Okay, so Leviathan's Curse, here's his range. Hits both those enemies side by side. Now, that's a big range in my opinion. Um, if you are definitely going after bosses, 100% use this blade because it does crazy amount of damage to them. And... The range. The range helps a lot. So if you're at like Kickatrix, Kickatrix is very good for when you can hit the side enemies with Levy or Leviathan's Curse. I just call it Levy for short. 
and I'm going to show you the absolute max range if you would like to loot in gold room. Alright guys, so I'm in gold room and I'm going to show you the range of Leviathan's Curse and see if it hits all these guys because this is this is a big big range if it actually hits everybody so i'm gonna walk up right in the middle let's see here so i think this is like center oh let's see wow yeah that's that's a pretty big range box for leviathan's curse that is very massive that's about like a siege charge that's insane <laughs> that is quite impressive so if you do not have storm sphere by chance and you have leviathan this is a good way to just go right up to the middle and just leviathan's curse uh i think it takes 40 seconds for it to re uh to recharge and i think it takes for the enemies to come back at like 45 five seconds or something like that so it's a good way to get your or not get your but um to use leviathan's curse it's a good way to loot um i don't really recommend it but i do think that if you don't have storm sphere or any type of de insane damage um then yeah use this blade Uses blade, it'll definitely help out a little bit. So, for bosses, I already showed you Jimmy Legs. Uh, I'm not going to use it for Polifico and Smashio because it will not show off the damage. It just does like nothing compared to those guys, even though Le Levy drops from them or Polifico, <laughs> which is weird to me. But bosses did get very much buffed. Uh, but. Yeah, I'm going to compare it. I can compare it to Crash. Crash is a 40 boss. Um, let's go up to this dude. I haven't been a Crash in years. So this is uh, definitely a nostalgia. <laughs> okay, so, so I'm going to brawl. 9,203. That is not bad. Um... It used to do way more to him before all the changes came for Piper Honey with that new update. So, okay, so Leviathan's Curse. It, it is it a keeper? Is it a must-have? Yes, I 100% agree that it is a must-have weapon. If you are going for this, he is at. Forsaken Shallows, he's in Forsaken Shallows, and he's a level 52 boss. Fair warning, you definitely need a group with him, unless you have Web. I don't even think Web would actually solo him anymore, just because of the uh, boss buff. Thank you, and I hope this helped a little bit. Um, this is my first review on weapon review. So, get your hands on this blade immediately. This blade is all around good weapon for every single combat i just went through tormenta easily with mobs so if you guys for watching go for it guys um my next weapon review will be soon uh it might actually be sooner than you think i have the week off so i'll be definitely doing some recording so anyways i appreciate you guys watching this video and let me know what you want next or I can have an idea of what to do next.